Hello everybody, this is Lucas at Flu Frugal Landlord. It's really cold here. <laughs> uh, I got you here at the mobile home park and uh, we're gonna put in a window here. Um, maybe if we get some windows and some doors, we can keep some heat in here. <laughs> so I bought some, uh, some standard windows instead of uh, framing it out first and special order because that takes a month and they charge you a little bit more for that too so uh, we're gonna frame out the window frame to the size of the window that we have we're gonna have to take out those uh, these two studs right there too um, and then I'm gonna put a little box out a little header and um, I'll show you how to do that the window is going to be quite a bit shorter than that and I didn't want to bring it down because uh, it kind of you, you wouldn't be able to see out of it when standing up so uh, we're going to bring it build it up a little bit so I'm going to cut the stud in the middle where I'm going to put the put the bottom sill plate on uh, You'll see what that looks like. inches past uh, the window space that I want because uh, there's going to be uh, a jack stud on each side which is going to hold the hold uh, up the header and there's going to be one more two by four going the full length I believe you call that a king stud So I had to notch it uh, to go on that. Uh, there's part of a piece of wood to hold the, the the soffit on the outside that goes across there. So I just notched notched that piece of wood and it'll fit right in.
I'm gonna measure the first jack stud over there on that side. And the other one, I'm not gonna bother cutting that stud, that uh, sill down there. I'm just gonna put the other jack stud right on top of that sill and come up because it's supported from underneath. You'll see. I marked the edge of the all the studs. I'm gonna cut them off. Then I'm gonna put the header in, and um, then the, the bottom plate, and then we're ready to cut out the T111, a little bigger, and put the window in. A lot of the boards I have are recycled. Um, so this one was already nailed together. So two two by fours nailed together. That's what I'm using for a header. If it's pretty good and it's, and it's uh, pretty square, 
I mean, almost exactly square. Now, at the bottom, there's a four foot wide section of, uh, of siding that I'm gonna have to recut because I didn't figure in that I was going to buy the standard windows. So that's the only piece that I screwed up on. throw this piece of siding on back on real quick and then we're gonna cut the hole uh, to the frame and then we're gonna put the window in. good let me show you okay check it out guys so I actually cut that uh, exactly good 
Uh, cut a little wide on this side, but that ain't gonna matter. About quarter inch, well, eighth inch, maybe. Let's see if it fits. Okay, we're gonna put the window in. Uh, normally I'd put some, a bunch of silicone around it uh, before I put it in, but it's uh, freezing temperatures, so I'm gonna wait until the weather warms up. I'll pull the window back out, uh, put the silicone on it, and then put it back in. Because uh, it says not to use silicone under 40 degrees. So it's well below 40. So uh, let's get to it. What do you think? I'm gonna take you inside just to see. I haven't seen it yet either, but um, I want a gap at the bottom, obviously, to put some uh, spray foam insulation. Uh, but since I won't be caulking it uh, right away anyway, I didn't bother about getting it perfectly shimmed, but we'll go see. So, what I was talking about, uh, I also didn't, uh, yeah, see that? I didn't get I didn't get the gap right. Let's see where am I at? I didn't get the gap quite square. So I did get a little gap on the bottom. But I'm gonna adjust it later. Um, right now I'm just trying to, uh, keep the, uh, keep the cold air out so we can work inside of here. I think it would be, I think it would be perfect if I if I slid it over just a little bit to this side because I got a, a bigger gap. I got a bigger gap over here. Uh, I think it's gonna look a lot better. Uh, let's step back and show Yeah. I don't think it's quite level, but um, I'll re-level it. I've only got about five screws in it, so. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video. Bye-bye.